Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. On today's episode of On Sundays We Stamp, Argyle Style. Yes, it's corny and I like it. So I got this pretty paper classic plate by color, uh, clearjellystamper.com. It's 1450. And we are starting off with two coats of Cassiopeia by Kale Polish. It's a beautiful sort of black color with like the most microscopic holographics and silver glitters in it. I bought this plate because I have been dying for a stamping plate that had argyle designs on it. And this was the first one that I saw that had it layered where you could do the background and then the stripes. So I was really excited about it. Um, I do have to say that it's not the best. I love Clear Jelly Stampers plates. They have really great ones, but this one was just a little difficult to work with because the stripes were too thin. Now the way I'm doing this polish is that I'm stamping on white before I'm stamping on this melon color by Sally Henson. It's from their Spring Fling collection. And I'm doing that so that I can make the color melon pop a little more. When I did it with melon first, it was just clear and you could barely see it. I love the Sally Hansen Crayola ones for stamping because they do stamp and pick up very well, but sometimes some of them just come out a little thin. This is Ice Pond that I'm using by Maniology. It's a really beautiful turquoise color that I got in my Manny and Me box, I think it was last month, and they now have it on sale for $6.50 on their website. As you can see, the colors go really well together, but the lines were so thin, they kind of just peeled off. So I had to stamp it again and then kind of fill in the places that came out. I'm gonna put tape on my nail next, so I'm putting on a quick dry top coat and letting it dry for 15 minutes. This is the little piece of tape I'm using. I did not press it down all the way. It is very important that you do press it down to make sure that you've got the edges locked in. I'm using Ice Pond right now just to fill in the bottom half of the nail. And as you can see, there's the spot that I did not press the nail polish down or the tape down. I'm using my silicone tool that I usually use for gel stuff because it's great for scraping wet nail polish back without hurting what's underneath. And I'm taking this plate that I have from Bundle Monster that was a collaboration with Ellen Dish. Mainly I'm just using it for these stripes, so it doesn't matter where you get it. I couldn't find my striping tape anywhere, at least not my gold striping tape. And so I wanted to make little gold stripes, and I'm painting them over with clear nail polish and then peeling them off for all my fingers. Except for the last one, which conveniently was by itself, and I was able to just stamp it over the line. Here I'm using my cleanup brush with some acetone to get the clear nail polish and excess polish off the edge of my nail. And finally, I'm adding my last top coat. I have to say this manicure was not one of the ones that I am really proud of, sadly enough. I love the colors. I think they all work really well together. And I love the idea of a stamping plate with argyle, diamonds, and stripes separated, but I do think that they made the stripes just a smidge too thin. They needed to be a little bit thicker, and if a smidge is a measurable amount, then that is how much thicker the lines need to be. But here's the final result. I'm happy enough with it. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!